Hey, yo, welcome to A Life of Purpose, episode 3. So, yeah, as you saw by the title, I reset my NoFap streak over the last like few days. So, we'll probably talk about that towards the end. But, damn, you know, it's time to grind, it's time to start another day and live a life of purpose. So let's do some, you know, breath work and wake up. It's currently 6.24 and the weather is 8 degrees, feels like 5 and raining. Fucking great. <laughs> oh my goodness, when, when will the fucking weather just fix up? Morning routine is done. Um, let me actually remind you what the show is about. If you're new here, if you don't know who the fuck I am, I'm trying to get comfortable. I can't find a position. Wait, wait a second, bro. Like this, yeah. So, the show is about me grinding. I'm gonna post once a week for now. Me grinding and just becoming the type of man I want to become, achieving the goals I want to achieve. So watch me be happy with the grind. And that's the message of the sh of the show. You gotta be happy with the grind. This is why it's a life of purpose and not a life of hustle or some shit like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna grind. Last few days I reset my NoFap streak. So we'll talk about that at the end. But today it's time to grind. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to start recording a video. I'm going to start recording a video and hopefully, you know, I'll make a good ass video besides this one. Alright boys, I'm actually done making the thumbnail. Look at this shit. Clickbaity as fuck. So now I'm gonna write the script. I'm not gonna fucking record that because it's just me sitting on the laptop writing a script. But I'll be back to show you how I record the video. Wow! I finally wrote the script. I'm actually pretty proud of the script. It's pretty impactful. So I'm also really proud of the thumbnail. I think it's a great idea. So I'm gonna post this video when I make it and it's probably gonna get 10 views. Because usually when I'm proud of my content, it gets 10 views. And usually when I think it's kind of shit, it gets like a thousand views. Like what the fuck, YouTube algorithm? You know, g give my valuable content a chance, can you? So, now it's time to record the video and I'm gonna record myself recording the video because that's kind of interesting for the vlog. Let's go.
Damn boy! We are done recording the video. It's currently, you know, importing, expo whatever. It's going into my computer. And now all I have to do is start editing. Uh, obviously, this work cycle, I will not finish the video right now. I'll have to do it in the next work cycle, but we're making good progress. You know? Okay, so I've put in some work on editing the video. And finally, after four hours, this work cycle has been completed. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to journal and I'm going to visualize. So I've replaced meditation from the last episodes with visualization. I feel like meditation, trying to focus on the present, I can do that throughout my day, like remind myself to focus on the present. And this is what I have been doing recently. So I've been reminding myself to enjoy the present, focus on perfection. I've been reminding myself of this sentence like, I've already done this, reminded myself like 20 times already. So I've only been awake like four, you know, hours. So this is why I recommend to you guys, if anybody's watching this, does, does anybody watch these? If anybody's watching this, remind yourself of this sentence all the time. Enjoy the present focus on perfection. Saying to yourself to enjoy the present essentially like removes stress, you know, allows you to enjoy your life and focus on perfection essentially allows you to like, you know, be focused and do your, you know, whatever you're doing properly, perfectly. So uh, this is what I replace meditation with, just mindfulness throughout the day. And so far it's working like magic. I think it's better. Visualizations, however, are very effective. Um, they make you a more confident person, a happier person. You should definitely read the book Psycho-Cybernetics. I recommended that book in my last video to learn about visualizations. But yeah, they make you a happier person. So I've replaced meditation with visualizations. I think it's more useful. So let's now go journal, visualize, and then eat. And this is my recovery from my first work session and then we go on to the next work session which is editing the video which i fucking hate i hate editing videos but it's it has to be done Okay, boys, let me read my gratitude journal today. I'm grateful for the valuable YouTube video I just created. I'm grateful that I consciously choose to prioritize value on my channel instead of clicks. I'm grateful that I feel fulfillment from the content I am creating. Even without having made it, this purposeful life is worth living. I'm grateful for my new and improved schedule. I'm grateful I took the time to pause and develop the schedule instead of overworking myself and going in the wrong direction. I'm grateful for the dinner I had with my friends and even the nightclub. Although I will never be a fan, a true fan of the nightclubs. So that was the gratitude journal. It always makes me feel so happy, bro. <laughs> These vlogs are like dash of you, the same shit over and over. <laughs> gratitude journal <laughs> makes me feel so happy. But I hope somebody can watch this, you know, maybe one or two or 10 people and they'll be like, yo, this guy is so happy doing this. Maybe I should try this. 
and then they become happy from doing that. Yeah, boy, let's go now meditate because, no, not meditate, visualize. And visualization will make me feel absolutely amazing, at least the first time. So let's hope I can have just as an effective session this time as well. Damn, boy. Damn, boy. Let me hook up the mic, bro. Fuck, we got technical problems. We got te technical problems. Come on, bro. How the fuck do you... Yo, yo, yo. It's fucking... Damn, finally. That was fucking a pain in the ass. Now I'm gonna visualize. This might seem like a little weird. I'll be smiling and shit, but that's visualization. If you feel emotions, genuine emotions, while you're visualizing, then you're visualizing correctly. So this is what I'm gonna strive to do right now. 15 minutes timer starting now. Let's fucking visualize. Alright, so we're done with visual... Sorry, I'm, I'm fucking screaming. I'm done with <laughs> visualization. Holy shit, this is actually like so vivid. You feel all the emotions of the visualization and time passes quickly as if it's real life. It's actually insane, guys. I recommend to everybody try visualizations. Try visualizing positive experiences and you'll feel happier. It will improve your mental health. But try, when you're visualizing, try to do it in detail, like the exact smells and the touch and the sounds of your environment as they would be. And that's how you visualize successfully. So now it's time to eat. Yes, finally some food. Guess what I'm eating, bro? Chicken with spinach, yes, exactly. Just like every time. I've been eating this for years, so. Actually, no, not the spinach. The chicken I've been eating for years. So what I do while I'm eating is I will read my goals. So before I used to watch videos, but it just takes too long to make these videos about my goals. So now I'm just gonna read what I wrote down as my goals and my aspirations and my future and things like that. So this is how I, I think it's very important every day to have in mind your long-term goals. So you're so focused on your short term, but you need to have it in your mind about your long-term goal. Otherwise you kind of just forget and you start going in the wrong directions. You start getting distracted in life. So definitely as a person, you should have long-term goals and you should be reading them in detail every single day. So let me eat while reading my goals. Most people eat while watching fucking stupid shit on YouTube. <laughs> like this video. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so the workout will consist of supersets of uh, compound or whole body exercise and then sort of an isolation exercise. If you don't have rings, it's impossible to do isolation exercises with your body weight. They're always compound, so this is why I'm using rings today. So let's begin this workout. Second set. Strength. Fuck, this is so difficult, these handstands, man. I'm at.
Calma, calma. I need to train. I need to train. I need to train. Train. Anybody got any fucking tips for handstand balancing? I'm struggling out here. Ooh. Day by day. so hard
Nice. Workout is complete. Oh, damn. So I decided to switch my workout. I decided to make it um, super set. Uh, and I decided to make it shorter with about half an hour or more like 15 minutes. So, yeah. I don't feel like I should work out so much. I work out every single day, so there's no need to work out like more than like 45 minutes to an hour. So now, I'm, now my workouts are pretty short. <clears throat> I like this. I think this workout tired me out, as you can <laughs> see. My muscles feel pretty fucking pumped. Let's go, baby, let's go. Nah, sorry, I don't derive my confidence from my body anymore. But once upon a time, it used to be this way. I used to be confident just because of my fitness journey. So if that's you, there's nothing bad about that. You should probably build up other areas of your life. But for me, I am happy with my body. I don't need to fucking bulk more or something. I'll do it anyway, just for the sake of it because it's nice to keep going but i'm happy with my body so you should be too so now i'm gonna take a thumbnail i'm gonna log my workout and then i'm gonna go take a cold shower Look at this thumbnail, bro. I'm gonna take a thumbnail, it's gonna be weird as fuck. Okay, let's stop the cap, let's stop the bullshit. It's time to shower. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why am I so happy about a fucking cold shower? It's fucking cold shower. Cut the video. Or you wanna see my pee pee? You wanna see my pee pee? No, you don't. C cut the video, motherfucker. Cut the video. Taking the shower now, motherfucker. Damn, boy. Uh, uh, oh. Uh. Damn, boy. These cold showers be getting easy. Shut the fuck up. So now we're gonna make a course. We're gonna be making the fitness course. I'm gonna be working hard on that. Um, yeah, speed up or something. I don't fucking know. Okay, so this part of my day has been completed. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to edit, no, actually, wait, fuck. What am I talking about? I'm going to create the course. I'm gonna edit a course video on my fitness course. And, oh, I forgot to show you. <laughs> yeah, this is the thumbnail I took for this vlog. So, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna use this, but you know what, bro? I've been trying to get clicks on my videos for the past fucking year. And it doesn't really work. I don't like my content. It's kind of shit. So recently I've just been uploading just whatever the fuck I want. And I'm not trying to get clicks, so I'm gonna upload this thumbnail. I don't give a fuck. Eventually somebody will watch this, I guess. And if not, well, at least I enjoyed making it. So, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. And now it's time to um, speed up.
I'm done reading. I'm done doing the work for the course. It's the end of the day. Yay! Another day on my purpose. I made it. I survived. It's difficult these days with 12 hours of work, but let me show you my schedules. If I can actually start this thing. Boom, boom. Now, these are my schedules for the past five days since the last vlog. So as you can see, the 20th of March, I slept well. I did my deep work, I did a recovery. Here, I, uh, I missed a little bit of work, I got distracted. I did my workouts, I did my work, I did, I did everything of the tasks properly. Now what I failed was this. As you can see, I reset my nofap streak. Yes, I know, I'm sorry. I failed. I failed, you guys. But I did reset my nofap streak. It happens. If you think all these fucking influencers you're watching never fucking do any bad habits, they're lying to you. It's impossible. Eventually, you just make a mistake. So, the way this happened was at night, I was in bed. So, I was here. I was in bed. And then... I got horny and before I knew it, the deed was done. Now, this is not the tragic part of the situation. We'll talk about the tragic part in a second. But I also uh, got distracted. I watched some YouTube. So the reason I did not complete my second work cycle fully and only partially, this is why it's in yellow, because it's partially completed, is because I got distracted with YouTube. So that's two mistakes I made on that day. The next day is the 21st Thursday. So everything, you know, as you can see, the same going pretty well, except, whoa, what, what, what do you see? Yes, again, I reset my nofap streak. It was because I, I, uh, it was because of the previous day. I wasn't satisfied, I guess. And so, again, I reset my streak. This is the fallacy of checking one picture. That was my mistake. Just checking for a little bit. Fuck me. Fuck me. It would... It, it created a monster. It's like feeding a monster. When you check just, just one picture. That's what I told myself. That's a cope. And I fed the monster and the monster woke up. And it led to me, I don't, bro, I didn't even enjoy it. <laughs> this is the thing about failing your nofap and doing any bad habits nowadays. I didn't even fucking enjoy it. And so because of that, I think I missed my cold shower. So this is why the recovery here is in yellow. But yeah, I didn't even enjoy it. It's fucking bullshit. Whatever. I also made another mistake, which was listening to music. And if you see a recurring theme here, is that once you do one bad habit, you are more likely to do another bad habit. So after the relapse, I listened to some music. Now, this doesn't prevent me from doing anything, but it is distracting. So that was a mistake. The next day was off schedule, so I had two sort of days off schedule because I felt like I was gonna burn out or something, I don't know. I just felt terrible. I didn't wanna make videos and there's no point in forcing yourself to do work when you don't wanna do it because it just ends up shit. So I took two rest days, I slept, took a coaching call, I update framework and process. This is, well, this is difficult to explain but I retain information in frameworks. And these frameworks at this point are massive. I've been working on them for a while. And so it takes me a while to update them. So I decided to do that on my sort of rest day. Then I went out with friends. The next day, Saturday, 23rd, I, went, I came home very late at 3.51. 
Then I did some frameworks. Then I ate for <laughs> four hours. No, two hours, sorry. The, the previous day I ate for four hours. Then I did updating and Oh, what is this? No, not again, yes. Once you relapse once, it's a slippery slope. So <laughs> once again, I relapse on Saturday. So this is, man, I gotta keep it real with you guys. You know, I gotta keep it real. I can't be one of those influencers. I can't be one of those people that lies. I also make mistakes as much as I like to make videos about uh, not watching porn. And actually I've not made a, one in a while, but I make mistakes as well. So I'm, I'm just sharing you my mistakes. I hope this makes you feel better about yourself to know that people make mistakes. They do all them, even if they don't show them. So I made a mistakes here, whatever, move on, get a haircut, update frameworks. Then I had dinner with grandparents. And the final day, that was like yesterday, Sunday. So on this day, 24th, everything went perfectly. So I changed my schedule a little bit. So as you can see, we replaced meditation with visualization, 15 minutes. I did this because I think it's more effective. I spoke about this earlier. Um, I also started reading instead of watching videos here. I think reading is more beneficial. I lowered the workout. I changed my workout routine to only be 45 minutes. At this point in my life, I derive no confidence and no results from actually training so much. I must be focused on business. I must be focused on my work. And so I decided to lower my workout routine to 45 minutes. I think doing 45 minutes every single day, seven days a week, is enough for me to keep going on my fitness journey and get more hypertrophy, more strength, better body. Because it can always be better. So I've lowered my workout routine. So this is why my deep work cycle starts at 5 p.m., not at five and a half, as it used to be four. And I've lowered the reading time. So, you know, I don't read for four hours. Now I read for only two. You don't need to read so much. So I decided to lower it and to instead invest more time in creating my product. And finally here, you see false actions slash distractions help mother. So I decided to add the distractions sections because this is not a mistake. It's not a mistake to help my mother. It's not a false action, but it is a distraction from my schedule. So I decided to note that. And that's what I've been doing today. As you can see, is Monday. So the schedule is perfect. I have not made any mistakes today. That's usually easy when I'm vlogging. Like I'm not going to fap today <laughs> when I know I'm vlogging. Uh, tomorrow. We'll see tomorrow. But next week, I'm going to make another vlog. And by then, I want you to be perfect. I want you to fucking grind hard. I want you to complete all your schedules. I want you to be a fucking beast. Do not let yourself down. You see, I made a mistake. Yes, I did. But honestly, I did 99% of my work. Yes, I made a mistake. I fapped three times and watched porn twice. And I listened to music and I got distracted with YouTube. So I made plenty of mistakes over the last five days. But I did 99% of my work. I didn't miss anything. So that's the important thing. Mistakes happen, but do not let yourself off the hook when it comes to work. And don't let yourself off the hook when it comes to mistakes, false actions. I'm not letting myself off. I'm holding myself accountable. Whoops. It's time to go to dinner, but hold yourself accountable. It's my fault that I fapped. It's my mistake. I hope I don't do it again. I might do it again. I don't fucking know. Uh, it's kind of an addiction for me. So now that I've done it again, I might do it again. I hope I don't do it again because I'm holding myself accountable, but who knows? But most importantly, I'll do my work. So thanks for watching this life of purpose video. Let me know in the comments if you made it till the end, because probably almost nobody does. So I probably 
have impacted you decently if you made it to the end. And remember, if you don't achieve your purpose, nobody will. Be ruthless.